I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at some of the stories we're following on this Tuesday. The Board of Supervisors are set to discuss plans to improve Hart Park. Those new plans were presented to the Parks and Rec Commission back in January and are now advancing to the full board following months of discussions. The new plan includes adding a leash-free dog park, a new kids' adventure area, repair and rehabilitate the restrooms, and a new equestrian area, among other things. The meeting is set for 2 o'clock this afternoon at the board chambers on Truxton Avenue. Teenagers and their parents are encouraged to attend a Start Smart class designed to help educate new drivers on how to stay safe on the road. The California Highway Patrol hosts the two-hour class that begins at 6 o'clock tonight at the Bakersfield CHP office. Topics that will be discussed include safe driving habits and how to avoid a crash. It's free. To sign up, though, you have to call 396-6600. It might not seem like it, but gas prices in Bakersfield have fallen more than two cents over the past week. Gas Buddy's daily survey of 300 stations showed the average in Bakersfield to be a little more than 325 a gallon. Gas prices in Bakersfield are reportedly about a penny and a half per gallon higher than a month ago, but almost four, uh, over four cents lower than a year ago. The cheapest station in Bakersfield sits at 273. All right, let's take a look at a different set of numbers. Bring in Elena and uh, check out our Tuesday forecast. Yeah, so we have some increasing cloud cover today, but we're still sunny and stable through those thin clouds with high, high pressure and control. We're talking low 80s this afternoon, a lot like yesterday afternoon. But you see this area of green mostly for the Sierra Crest and the east side of the valley and down along the central coast. That's a risk for some thunderstorms today as this moisture pushes on shore. More so late this afternoon into this evening. Here we are at 8 p.m. You see the moisture arriving. For Kern County, we really look to get rain shadow. That means much of that rain is evaporating as we head into most of tomorrow as well. And then you see a better chance of showers for all of Kern County. And we're just talking rain, not quite snow yet tomorrow evening or on dinner time into those overnight hours. Now, by the time we get into early Thursday, it is cool enough. We could be talking about some higher elevation snow above, I think, about 5,500 to 6,000 feet. And then that system's out of here. Much of Thursday is calm. Friday has increasing cloud cover like today, warm weather out there. And then a cold front comes charging through on Saturday. But look at how it falls apart over Kern County. So we'll take a look ahead to some mild temperatures for the next week and a half. 80 today, 67 tomorrow, a big dip on that first day of spring with that chance of showers. Basically, tomorrow night around dinner time is the best for it. Clearing out Thursday, a little warmer Friday. That cold front, which falls apart for us Saturday, it's not the best drain chances, but keeping us cool and breezy that day. Sunday, 71, Monday, 80, and then take a look ahead because there's another chance of rain that might try to move in next Wednesday. All right, very good. Thank you, Elena. That's a look at some of the stories we're following at this hour. We'll have another update for you later today.